All right. We're good. Hi, Yash. How are you? I'm doing well, Drew. Empress Capital is a new VC fund focusing on AI. Artificial intelligence. AI. 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 Why VC? Why AI? Why now? The great venture reset. The end of the super cycle, the beginning of the next. It's happening. It is a great time to be investing. Am I too late? And the answer is you're not. You're actually very early still. We have this really interesting AI wave happening. And it's going to create wealth faster than anything we've ever seen. A trillion dollars will go into this. You know, if you have funds that are focused on this, it's almost a rising tide lifts all boats. We see this as being much like the early days of the internet. Image recognition, text, large volumes of data, speech as well. We really feel it's outperforming humans on all those accounts. There's really exciting things that we're seeing. The proliferation of large language models. And we're putting it in the hands of just not just a few data scientists, but it's open to so many more people. And so we want to have impact with AI and, and you know, VC is one means of doing that. We have an amazing team that we really want to not just help with money, but help with how do, how do we develop these technologies responsibly. For us, a VC is a mechanism to do that and also to get great returns. There's massive uh, upside in almost everything we're seeing in this new ways, new business models, new categories of products. Why now? Well, look, like I say, this is, this is the time. We're getting a lot more people working in this area. We're also seeing that the compute is getting better. Training these models is, is far easier. We're also seeing uh, large language models being able to train off other models. It's really going to proliferate. What we're seeing with GPT is just the very beginning. We're seeing, you know, Google and Microsoft and and Meta coming in with, with different ways of doing things. And how about you, Draw? You've founded an AI business and exited that, congrats. Um, I'd love to hear your, your story about that and what you see, I guess, now compared to, to, to when you started your business. Yeah, it's a big difference. So uh, I did a PhD in AI and applied in education in between the years 2006 and 11. My work was around the, the concept of intelligent tutoring systems. And it's funny because back then, the hardest bit was to explain to people, what does it mean? And I have a feeling that this day is an age People get that. An intelligent tutoring system is a computer software that is in teaching a person better than a private tutor. How do you create one? How do you sell that? That was my area of research when kind of I graduated the team, the research team, uh, spun and became a Smart Sparrow, which was our startup. We raised VC fund from Australian VCs and then later on from Silicon Valley. I moved to live in Silicon Valley for a while. I was there for a few years. And ultimately we were, you know, sold it to many universities, most universities in Australia, for example, publishers. Just at the end of 2019, uh, just before the pandemic, uh, we had a successful exit to Pearson. It taught me a lot about the journey from inventing some technology all the way all the, to actually exiting it. Quite a, quite a journey right there. So now I'm very excited about what's going on with, with the current generation technologies. So what, what's changed? Like, what do you think's changed significantly from you know, when, when you exited even to now? Unbelievable change. Back then it was a small community of researchers and nerds that understood that this is potentially powerful technology and one day it will be big. It's big now. It's widespread adoption now. What really happened since uh, ChatGPT emerged on the global scene is what, six months ago, or even less, was unprecedented in history. It was the biggest move in technology adoption in history, right? Okay. And it's nothing short of, as they say, the fourth industrial revolution. This, like, when they say this will change everything, they're probably right. The truth is how weird things became recently is that all the science fiction books of of past generations that people, you know, raise an eyebrow and go, what is that nonsense, become mainstream discussion topics for news, yeah, exactly. let alone like dinner parties. So I, I think uh, we're up for a ride. I'm very excited about the future of AI, very excited about the future of society when AI is available. And I want to be a part of that.